I had a not so pleasant experience with some plush that I picked up recently at the Goodwill outlet and it totally creeped me out. Hi, my name is Heather and I'm an online reseller. Today I am going to be sharing with you an experience that I had this last week with some stuff that I bought to resell online. So this is what happened. I was getting things ready to take pictures to get things listed and I grabbed a bag of plush out of my death pile that I bought over the summer and I went in and I started taking pictures. I opened up the bag full of all of these plush stuffed animals. There were probably 10 to 15 plush in this bag and so I started taking the pictures and I got through three or four and then I pulled out this little teddy bear and this little teddy bear was not your standard plush material. It kind of had like ringlet kind of fur and it was a lot more like shaggy. And as I was looking it over, I saw this little teeny dead bug on it. So not thinking anything of it, I just kind of flicked it off and then continued to look it over. And then I saw a second little dead bug. And all of a sudden this light went on in my head that was like, warning. And I could just imagine these messages that I've seen from other people who are like, I don't buy stuff from the bins. I don't buy plush because I'm scared of bed bugs. And I was like, oh my gosh, I brought home bed bugs. And so I just, you know, automatically was panicking. So I got up and I ran and got a bag and I put the stuffed animal in a bag and sealed it and ran it out and threw it in the garbage can outside. And then I came back in and got the other stuffed animals and was looking those over. And fortunately, I did not find any bugs on any of those, but I bagged them up and I thought, you know what, I'll wash the ones that can be washed and still be okay. And then the rest that can't because there were a couple that had like battery packs inside of them, which I still debated, you know, is that okay to even put those in the dryer? Um, but I thought, okay, I'll run those ones through the dryer. And so I bagged those up, I went and I, vacuumed the room, totally vacuumed the whole room, and then went and, you know, washed my hands really good and changed my clothes, and then thought, you know what, I should go and Google bed bugs and see if that really is even what I had. So I went online to Google and up pops a picture, and they look like these little brown bugs. They kind of have these like bands across their back and they're kind of flattish looking from the picture. It does look like they get a little bit darker when they're full, um, which is really gross, but otherwise they're pretty brown. And so I didn't have anything, you know, really direct right in front of me to compare it to. But from what I remember, they were black and they were more domed shape. And so I really, it probably was not bed bugs, but I, you know, I was still pretty freaked out. And maybe, you know, maybe I don't remember it right and maybe they were bed bugs, but I'm really hoping at this point that they were just some little beetle bug that happened to get into this bag and why there was two of them, I don't know. But even with seeing this picture, I was still a little panicky. I have some uh, issues with anxiety and so my mind just races and you know, what if this and what if this and what happened here? And, and that's just how my mind works. And so I'm running back in my mind of the history of what I have done with these plush since the time that I bought them. So I bought these plush back in June of 2021 and I was in Portland at the time, we were visiting family. And if I remember right, I had them in my car in a bag probably for a couple of days before I brought them in, but I brought them in and they were in the garage for probably a few weeks before we packed up and came to our house. And so after we left that house, we drove to Idaho and stayed with a family in Idaho for just a little bit. And so in the meantime, this was all sitting in the car. All of this stuff that I bought, we just left in the car. And after doing some research online, it looks like cars heat up to like 40 degrees over the actual temperature that it is outside within like an hour. And so, you know, it's in the middle of the summer. So even in Idaho, I would say it was probably getting up at least 85, 90 each day. And these were sitting in the car 
for a good couple of weeks in those temperatures. And with bed bugs, they do not like to be out of kind of, you know, what human temperature is like. They really like to stay in like, you know, the 70 to 80 range. They don't really like really cold temperatures. They don't like super hot temperatures. And anything over like 120 will kill them. And so I'm fairly certain, looking back, that surely our car was well over 120 for several days. And even if there were eggs and the eggs happened to hatch, surely, you know, the temperature still would have been high enough because it was over a couple of weeks that it would have killed the babies. And so, you know, then it was in this plastic bag tied up in my closet for the rest of the time once we finally got to our house and moved in and it's just been sitting in the closet. After going through that, I did make sure that I, you know, came and I vacuumed my office, which is where the closet is that it was stored. And we did go and check the one bed that we've got downstairs on this floor where my eBay inventory stuff is. And we didn't see anything. The sheets looked fine. The mattress looked fine. My son who's sleeping in that bed has not complained about getting bit by anything. So hopefully it really was just a little teeny beetle and it was not bed bugs. But yeah, I did learn a lot in this experience and I've decided that from here on out, when I buy stuff at thrift stores or at garage sales or especially at the Goodwill outlet, which is where I picked up these plush, that I'm going to be leaving it in my car for a few days so that the temperature will heat up and anything that might have come home in the bag will die before I bring it into my house. So I would recommend that for you too. If you don't want to leave them in your car, you might also just do what I did and wash it and then dry it because running it through the dryer will also kill bed bugs. I also learned that they really like to hide. There was actually one plush that had come out of the wash and the dryer and now I was like super, you know, cautious looking for bed bugs, but they said they really like to hide, you know, to look in the seams of things, even if you've got pillows or on mattresses or on plush, or, you know, if you had clothing, like say you found it at the bins, they would, you know, want to go for like the pockets or, you know, in between the seams of things because they just like to dig in and hide. As I was listing some of these plush that I had put through the wash and the dryer, there was one flamingo that I had that did have a little bug and it was in the seam. And so out of utmost caution, I decided, you know, it was just better to just bag it and throw it away than to have to worry, you know, that I might possibly be sending bed bugs off to somebody else, even though in the back of my mind, I know the chance of them being alive at this point, if it really was, is like nothing. But yeah, still, still totally freaked me out. And I have not even sold used stuff for very long, probably a year and a half that I've done clothes and plush from, you know, thrift stores. And so yeah, it was definitely an alarming and scary situation, but I did learn and hopefully maybe you'll learn something from this too that you have to be really careful I think that it's still okay to be out buying stuff and I know that people buy stuff at thrift stores all the time and this is a rare occasion but bed bugs do exist and they are extremely hard to take care of once you have it in your house and they multiply quickly and of course then they feed off of human blood and so they're just really nasty little buggers and they are really hard to get rid of from what I have read. So just out of curiosity, have you guys had any experience with uh, bringing home any kind of bugs or bed bugs from thrifting? Or do you take extra precautions to make sure that you don't end up with these kind of problems? My hope is that you haven't and that this really is just a fluke, really rare occasion that people actually do come across bed bugs. I would imagine that if it was really common, we probably would hear about it more on YouTube. and. I did go and look it up on YouTube and I only came across like two videos that were even talking about bed bugs and one was Rake and Prophet and he was just talking about how to be extra cautious not to bring them home but he had never ever had them. And then another one was somebody talking about finding them on pillows at a Goodwill outlet in Ohio somewhere. So yeah, one video that is on YouTube as far as I could see. 
So hopefully this is just a really small problem and hopefully none of us will actually come across bed bugs. But just to be careful, I do recommend that you do take the precautions and make sure that you're washing things and possibly making sure that they are heated up so that you are not bringing these little guys into your house. Well, I hope you guys are all having an awesome week and that you are making a lot of sales. And if you enjoy this kind of reselling content, I would love it if you would subscribe to my channel. I do try and put out a new video every week and I would love to have you in my community. And I will see you guys in the next one. Mm -hmm.